There's a forced sterilization campaign. There's a forced dumbing down of the population. And that's not it. Like what, what Harrison is laying out in California, that is coming. That yeah. is coming here. That is the plan to bring it here. So right, this isn't an accident. Don't worry, you're not missing out on the misery. You just <laughs> got to look a little bit harder for it here. Don't worry though, it'll be here just as strong as it is in California in time, in good time. And it's it's happening rapidly, and it's happening in Austin rapidly, in large part because these people from California are moving in and looking around and going, you know, in California we had so many programs for homeless people we should get that going here we should i'm really i'm gonna start a petition and get that going here it's like look lady you left california because you created a hellhole with your socialist programs then you come here and think this place needs some socialist programs i think that's what it really needs and it, the the proof is in the pudding there's something called code next that's coming uh, in through um that's that's being applied to austin people have <laughs> appealed and said hey can we at least vote on this and that was actually shut down very recently by the city council and it's all about atomizing people it's all about destroying people's ability to own things it's it literally takes some of the most beautiful and oldest and most historical neighborhoods in austin that are full of these single family houses that have been there for centuries and just are covered in these big beautiful trees and it's just this beautiful place and it creates it and it it, it uh sets it all aside for multifamily housing so from then on all of these big, beautiful houses, you can't repair them, you can't fix them up, you can't do work, you can't build them, you have to build apartment buildings, you have to destroy the big yards, you have to cut down the big trees, you have to not own it, you can only rent it, it has to belong to some big multinational combine. And here's the thing, people think, well, but I'm, I'm liberal, I, I like the, you know, I like the, the beauty of life, I, I don't want big corporations coming in and destroying things. Well, guess what? Liberal politicians run on promising giant political uh, uh, packages that they'll deliver to their constituencies. You know what that requires? Money. It requires you to collect taxes. So when it comes up that a single family house on an acre yard with a big tree and a little uh, pond and, and a nice creek running through the back and they want to sell that, well, the government comes in and says, no, 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 you can't sell that. If you sell that, someone's going to buy it and we're just going to keep getting the same amount of taxes we're getting now. No, no, you need to sell that to a company that builds and owns apartment buildings and then we'll have nine or ten people on your property and we'll be getting taxes from all of them and then we'll be able to pay for the programs that I promised earlier. This is how socialism goes hand in hand with the corporations and it, this isn't even it, this isn't speculation. This isn't me saying this could happen. This is literally happening where now if you're in a floodplain or if even part of your property is in, fl in the floodplain in Austin, you are not allowed to fix up your house. You're not allowed to repair your house. So there will be there's like a, a creek and along the creek, there's all these big, nice houses that have been there for 100 years and they can't fix them up and they can't build on this property. And, and literally the only possible thing to happen is for all of these homes to rot on their foundations until they're sold for their land value to a company that will try Try to buy all of them because then they can build a reservoir to take care of the flood water where now it's in a floodplain. So they're saying, oh, you can't build no building small houses there. It's dangerous. You might get flooded. Well, these houses have been here for 100 years. Shut up. No, you can't build houses there. It's going to it's dangerous. It's going to be flooded. This big company says, hey, let me buy all these houses. I'll build a big apartment building and I'll make a retention vestibule. I'll make a tension pond here. That's just a concrete block where water can go when it floods and and the City can go and say, we've done a lot to stop flood. We've, we've done a lot of flood prevention. We've created jobs. We've brought in a lot of new taxes and we built all these programs. In the meantime, you have destroyed a neighborhood and made the character of this neighborhood something from a, a lovely, nice American neighborhood to this globalist trash pile of, a, of an apartment building that are popping up all over the country. That's just what's happening in Austin, like Jake said. If you don't think, if you think you can avoid it by moving to a conservative state like Texas, it's coming for you. It's coming fast. And, and you know, like you uh, were saying about cities, they want everybody to move in cities because this is where they can pull this type of stuff off.